I don't really want to take anything else for, from them for myself. So where are the other, arm, other armies? There are none apparently. Right. Um, no, 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 not this kingdom. Does she have a husband? No, she does not. So why can't I actually marry her? Was a Maybe it's because I have the fraction faction and thing, you know, opened up. See what other clans are there. That's the leader clan. Alrighty. Jesus Christ, we have a lot of mercenaries. And tier four, 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 three, four, three, four. I guess let's check these guys. Noble of Sturgia. Uh, sh I might be a little bit late for this. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, she's married as well. Okay, I think we, we should be able to marry her. <laughs> what, what, we don't have to pay this time? <laughs> Oh, he only has 30k as well. Well, there we go. We have a weave. And she actually leads armies as well. Wait a minute, where is she? Okay, up there. How many troops does she have? Or she did... Huh? What? Why can't we send her a message or anything? She has a reputation of being fierce and cruel at the same time. Oh, 
Don't tell me we have to go all the way up there. We're getting a decent amount of money as well. Wait a minute. Daily party wage is minus two ta- what? We're getting money f from the party? Wait a minute. That's not right. There is no way that's... You now trade settlements between Bartha? Yeah. Um, I'm not exactly sure what's happening there. To be honest. Yeah, main party wagers were actually getting money. You kind of broke the game a little bit there. Where the fuck's my wife? Oh great, she's moving around. That's what I want. she appearing on the list here? Or is she actually leading troops? I have no freaking clue at this point. Okay, she's not actually a party leader, but we can't... Uh, if you make her a party leader here, she's gonna die. Um, but we are warriors. We die with honor, right? What's her stats again? Eh. Yeah, let, let's make her a party leader as well. by the troop limited by one. Yo, let's go. Of course, my shit is on siege. Why the hell not? Question is, can I make it there in time? Going to a point. Let's call them in. I wish I actually like told you like in a warband like a, a huge enemy party is close here, close there. And stuff like that. It's not besieged. It's besieged. It's not besieged. What? Oh, 
No, it's besieged, but they're fucking dead at this point. I want to go and pick up the, the fancy troops the all the parties left off in the city. So I can give it to my wife. Pay attention to what the AI is gonna do. Looks like they're just gonna charge in. These bushes, man, they get you killed. Okay, this is what we need. We need to clear all the skirmishers. We need to move over there as well. 19 of them left. Come on, move. Okay, looks like they're coming at us as well, so let's like camp up there. kills with this thing is uh, if you get the legendary one oh that's gonna be freaking amazing once i actually get around to it Okay, that's all. I'm gonna need to kill each and every single one of them. Maybe I do. first or their archers first melee him I'll shoot at him Oh, 
Like the cavalry charges are so shit in this game, man. And they get stuck in their infantry, even better. should be all of them. guy okay since we're gonna let our wife actually take over now let's have let's have one in reserve the stewardship leadership Tactics. Just in case our wife dies in battle. Expand these guys. Right now. See anything else? Militia archers, we don't want that. Okay, that's a hundred more than we can actually hold. Let's pick up a couple more. Now. We're gonna give her a decent army. I say as I give her trash. I don't really want to give her my archers or elite archers.
see, 10 more. Where the fuck is she? Oh, there she is. Sign for you, roam the land, don't do anything. And that's it. Infantry in your party have their melee weapon skills increased by 30% while in shield wall formation. Unfortunately, we don't do that. 20% less morale loss. Let's see. Charm, stewardship. Mm. Let's bump up our plums a little bit more. Garrison is still here. Good here. I mean, decent, considering. Oof. 24? Where's that army? Okay, they're going to besiege that. I would like to help them out. If they don't do something stupid, which they probably are. Right, since we have a shitload of uh, influence, let's uh, grab a couple of these that are going to help us out. influence let's grab that as we are clan tier 4 I think at this point if not even 5 castle upgrades like why would you not get that like there's no downsides Security, Crown's Duty, Imperial Town, no, no. Okay, I think I want to go with that one. Hunting Grounds. Town Loyalty decreased by 0 0.2. I'm not quite sure about that. The train tax paid to the town owner is increased by 3% on prosperity? Nope. Okay, let me check actually. We're still not clan level 5. Militia quality is increased by 10%, and 10% uh, of the militia troops will be higher tier. Revenue paid both the legion local ruler is increased, they reduced by 5%. I'm the only one voting for it, apparently. Citizenship, uh, loyalty per day to settlement that have the same culture as their own clan, settlement militia production. Uh, you want to get this because uh, everything's going to be our own culture. Yeah, we're going to get that uh, loyalty as high up as possible. Tribunes with town taxes paid to the ruler are reduced by 5 town loyalty increased by 5% of the per day. Both by 1% per day. Trial by jury. Okay, so there's a couple more I'm gonna grab once we hit clan level 5. Four hundred garrisoned in there. 
Oh, I said I'm gonna help this army. If they actually besiege it. You wanna fight? You wanna fight? Nope. It would be cool if you can like send out send out a couple of troops to actually hold him down until you catch up to him. Like you can do in the distinguished service mode where you can lure in the enemies. Well, the bandits at least. Come on, come on. Do it. I don't know, I'm probably gonna lose a shitload by fighting this with the AI, but... Uh, average days until food. Never. Yeah, I love seeing that. It's so fucking funny. Catchy of Dunca, what? Who, who the hell is that? Oh, one of our managers. How the hell did they get 28 points into charm that easy? Out of thin air. Okay, that bathroom ram has a chance of getting to the walls. Because there's only one catapult on their side. Let's see how well we do. We're gonna command the archers. They're gonna get shot to shit. Because I'm the massive strategi st Looks like I lost the companion, whoever like uh, gives us just a lot of more uh, arrows during sieges. Yeah, let's force the AI to actually go up the ladders. We're not gonna wait around for the battering ram, that's for sure. Be the first, first one up there, though. Okay, let's go to the other side and force the other side to go up the ladders as well. Well, hopefully, get up the ladders. You know how sieges work in this game, they don't, unless you bring down the walls. Oh, ooh. never mind. Never mind. Apparently, they work. Still can't get over the fact that you can actually do that. Off that so fast.
Nobody up here. See, place in the arches there works. We can shoot at everything. Well, thanks, Samad. I'm glad you enjoy it. Bathroom rams are so slow. Wait, how the fuck do I get out of here? I'm not exactly sure who I'm gonna go with on the next playthrough on the like uh, medieval-ish mod with um, crusaders and all that. play the warband well i think uh, i think you're still uh, better off just playing warband until the sieges get fixed and a whole bunch of other shit and ban lord honestly i might do do uh do something different and go with the not with the uh middle easterners or europeans well western european catalogs i might go with the Orthodox Byzantians or Russians. Uh, time now. Uh, well, hopefully by the time you get some time, the game is gonna be actually polished up, and some fancy mods are gonna be out in a year or two, hopefully. We don't need that much. We don't need money at all, actually, at this point. Okay, leave that. So we're going to say the two. Hmm. I didn't really like uh, Stronghold Crusader 2 at all. Like everything past Stronghold 2 or Stronghold Legends is kind of... I don't know, it just doesn't have the same feel as the all the other games. Well, all the games. I don't like him at all. Here's my wife. She's over there. How many troops can she actually hold? A uh, decent amount, not bad. Now what's this army gonna do? Look at that actually mouse traveling to over there, okay. Declare war on the Kuzites, uh sure. Oh, they got nothing. They only have like 3,000 uh, troops. What about these guys? You can come out for the sub. 2k. Oh, they're both kind of bad. Northern Empire is... Well, I mean, when I started this playthrough, they had like... A, the, the total strength was like a 20... 23k. They've been knocked down a notch. Let's see who else is over there. Sergio ain't doing too bad. Landia is good as well. Fortunately, we can't declare. We can't get peace with these guys. Mm, which might need. I might need to increase my garrison size I wish there was an easier way to increase this
just to just to deter him a little bit from attacking these. We're still gonna do it. You almost play, uh, played 10 12 years. You mean Warband or Stronghold? Let's go with uh, like 180 Veteran Shigaru in the settlements. Have the money for it. Capital castles, Capital towns. Still not on the list. <laughs> oh shit. Actually, I don't think I've been on a list of branding. Oh, Game Ranger, right. Remember the days of uh, Game Spy? <laughs> Never was really good at multiplayer in that game, unfortunately. Besieging OBR. The fuck is that? Oh, they're going back that way. Too good. We can go the other way. So all the recruits are going to be taken. <laughs> you don't like Game Spy? <laughs> well, I mean, the Game Ranger is just a copy of it, more or less. I, I, also, I, I remember playing like a couple of multiplayer games. I got my ass handed to me every single time. Like maybe I should check up a couple of, on a couple of these. Right, we got the prisoners. So off. Like playing versus players is a whole different thing than playing versus AI, and I was never good at it. I would like build up and be all fancy on a custom map and uh, the guy just comes over and wrecks everything in like five minutes. <laughs> Those were the days. But, like I find it uh, fun to like uh, try and build the smallest castle possible. And uh, like the most efficient castle possible. It was my thing. So I would like only have like two or three houses in max. And a couple of couple of armors. I guess it would be easier if you go with the Sultanate. Or the Muslim faction. Wanna be like if you wanna be like a smaller town and all that. Okay, I do need to go check up on these before I go over there. The White City. Oh yeah, I do. I'm, I do like White City uh, better than uh, San Andreas. I don't remember playing Y City multiplayer though. Or actually, I don't play multiplayer in uh, GTA games at all. That's not my thing. And it's a, it's a game like Total War. You'd play it offline. 
So let's build this first. Yeah, the prosperity is real shit here. I guess in minus 12 gardens plus 6. So just the prosperity. Let's go with housing then because we don't have problems with the loyalty anymore. I watch my generation I actually played a lot of uh, San Andreas multiplayer. I just never got into it. Like the whole having a job and all that in those games is just uh, odd to me. Okay, prosperity is up. Let's go. Yo, this is doing really well. I'm not sure if this is even gonna need all the money I'm dumping in, but why the hell? Why the hell not? We got the money. I do really wish they remade Y City, but a little bit better. The remake looks like shit when you look at it. I do want to go back and replay the game though at some point. Let's go with housing here as well. I want to check the other ones. Wait a minute. Yeah, I think the army that went up there disbanded. They couldn't keep the cohesion up. <laughs> Missed all your games, friend. Uh. Well, I mean, what can we do? Like, uh, there's a there's a bunch of games I want to play now nowadays. What the uh, there's just just no one playing them at this point. Like, uh, I really enjoyed Monday Night Combat, the first one, not the free to play one. It was such a good game, but no one plays it anymore. Warhammer Space Marine as well, no one plays that anymore. I do wish we can go back to the days where, or before, a Valve decided to port over Construct Source to the Orange Box engine, because that's when everything went to shit. And everyone stopped playing it. And then the like whole gang of like 20 people who used to play it just uh, vanished into thin air. I went to play Call of Duty, some played some other shit. Then again, that that was the time once we about the time we got into high school, so well some of us. I guess that's how it goes. We have other priorities at that point. I want to take this up here. So let's gather a couple of troops. You bitch. I told you not to join any other armies. Oh, she's gonna get killed. New assignment. Roam the land. Don't bother with anything. Did I not click this? Oh, the fucking way she smiled and the fucking teeth were out. Jesus. Okay, now she's free to join us. I wish some of these actually had more troops in them. Well, uh, kind of. 
I did stream on Twitch. Oh, well, I was streaming on Twitch back in 2018. Then I, I streamed for a couple of months, then I die off for half a year or a year. Then I stream again and so on and so forth. But I have started streaming on YouTube uh, fairly recently, I'd say. Well, very recently, consistently might be the better way to put it. I could take this by myself. Will take a while. I was being besieged. Uh, these guys ain't gonna make it over there. What's the garrison? Why doesn't tell me what the garrison is like over there? Get 350. I mean, I. Oh god, I hope that deters them a little bit. Can we piece them out? No, we cannot. Yeah, that's gonna suck. I can't get it get over there to save uh, save that in time. If they do besiege it. Still get them for 4k. Cash. Nice. I mean, and if you look through my videos, I think. Let me actually check. When did the first one come out? February 10, 2018. So yeah, not really new to streaming all that much. Well, that new to streaming all that much. Then again, back in those days, I streamed on Twitch and uploaded was to YouTube. Four generation and an uh, Yeah, I think you can. Like, the only problem is gonna be you can't, like, uh, push the game to, like, a thousand man battles. Like, the battle size to max. Even I have issues with that, my frames drop. Because it's a little bit CPU bound, but you definitely can. It's not a really a graphically intensive game, and you don't, you, of course, you don't need to play on the highest graphics. You can, for sure. I even dropped some uh, graphics down that uh, impact the CPU because uh, the CPU is the bottleneck on my end. Bring those there. How many of them? Hello. Would you come back and attack me, please? But you definitely can play the game. Maybe not like a 500 versus 500 uh, or what Sammy likes to do. A thousand versus a thousand. Okay, okay. Let's see. Oh god, I wish I saved there. Now I think this is gonna work the same as in uh, the other... As in like uh, when you catch someone on field battles. Or on the field. In that they are gonna... They're gonna just stop the siege or just let them go, so we're not gonna accept that. Okay, they did not surrender. They just lower the graphics and the, the amount of troops on the field. You should be able to play it. It's fairly well optimized. I mean, I streamed with the with an RX 580. I mean, it's not that much better. And well, my CPU is uh, at 3700X. 
So it's a little bit, should be a little bit better than a fourth generation i5. Like, see here. Um, but I could just show you the stats. We are robbing a frame or two here and there. <laughs> yeah, see ya. Get some sleep. Good night. Thank you for watching. Archers! Forward! Archers! Forward! It's almost midnight here as well. I have a 3070 now, but I uh, was able to stream it on uh, at the RX 50, uh, 580. Like, well, not that many issues. I just had to like, lower the amount of troops on the field and all that. For the graphics. Actually, let me check something. I'm curious now. Because I do have a 144 hertz monitor. Yeah, I don't think we're moving away enough from um, 60 to justify that. Fuck did you get there? Oh wait, wait, never mind, he's dead. Who shot me from over there? Oh, that guy probably. on that guy come on yes we can okay might be time to move in Was easy enough. Everyone attack! Right, and they optimized like freezes once you like have everything selected and you want to place them somewhere, so the game like freezes because you know you can't really place them there. It's too many of them. They'd fix that up on the latest patch. If you wanna, if you need that. Shit. Uh, 
Did not gonna take those prisoner. Mm, I guess we're gonna pillage that because I'm not gonna take it for myself. Now, can we catch this guy? Eh, he's not even worth catching. He's actually losing troops, apparently. Okay, let's see. They're besieging. I guess it makes sense. Why pass the city and besiege the castle? He has less troops. I think they should have made the castle, like, a little bit harder to actually attack. Because, like, th uh, as it is now, it's more or less the same if you're gonna attack. All these... You assault the... Mm, yeah. Because like this, and you know, castles should be like harder to take. As it is. Well, as it is now, they're kind of the same. We're still not on the list. See, let's go for that. I need to remember to do this this time. Hmm. Game crashed. Reason? Uh, Tail World's campaign system. Um, an exception. Um, time to continue. Probably not, though. Yeah, we reason. Yeah, same reason. Okay, the game at least saved, I think, after the siege. So we should be able to continue right off where we left off. Fill stacks and the campaign module not working well. I did play the 